Today, I'm going to be talking about the Scoop single serve coffee maker by Hamilton Beach. Really cool machine that kind of bridges the gap between old style drip style coffee machines and what we love to talk about here in aromacup.com, which is single serve coffee making. So let's dive in, show you some features on the machine, and just talk about how we can make use of it. All right, so the Scoop, as you can see, is a very compact machine, would fit pretty easily on just about any countertop. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get into brewing pretty quickly here, and I'll tell you guys about a few of the other features of the machine. Uh, before I start brewing, I'll just mention the drip tray right here, which has a pretty cool feature. And if you leave it in its first configuration, of course, which is the one that we started off in, this is great for a taller cup. But if you have a smaller cup, you can take it out, flip it over, and you see it's got these little catches right here. And then you can attach the tray into the catches, and this way you can use a smaller cup with the scoop very easily. So that's a pretty cool feature. I'm going to leave this in the lower configuration for what we're going to be doing today. Now, something I should mention about the scoop is that this machine is not as fast when it comes to brew time as what we're used to with some of the other single serve machines that, uh, that we talk about here in aromacup.com and that you might be familiar with, such as Keurig machines, various things like that. Um, the reason for that is that the scoop makes, uses, makes use of these scoops, as you can see, which have just a wire mesh filter on the bottom of them and brews coffee into them via essentially a drip style system. So it's not as fast, doesn't use coffee pods or anything like that, but uh, can brew a good cup of coffee. So we're going to go ahead and fill this guy up with some water to start off with. To do that, just open up the top of the, of the scoop and then add your water. There's a max fill line in here so that you'll know exactly where you should stop and you can brew to, you can brew an 8 ounce and a 14 ounce uh, out of the scoop so depending on the strength of coffee that you like you have a couple choices right there I just go ahead and going going up to the full max fill line right now and uh, let's go ahead and brew some coffee I'm going to just use some ground right here and this is a basic automatic ground uh, type of grind that I'm using, and I'm going to fill the basket up to just about the max fill line. There's two max fill lines right here. And, um, and then it's really easy for us to start brewing with the machine. Uh, we just need to open up the top of the brew basket right here. And then we can take out, if we want, the internals of the, of the unit, if we need to clean it or something like that. You'll notice that there's two parts. We've got our first filter right here, which is going to ensure that we shouldn't get any extra grounds if you're using a really fine ground of coffee or something like that into our coffee. And then we have our actual brewing apparatus, which is just our single hole in it for brewing out. So it's easy to take apart and clean if you need to clean it or anything like that. And of course, that extra filter is really going to make sure you don't get any grounds. So I've filled up my basket, and you'll notice I have another basket hanging on the side of the unit. These are both the same size. This is just useful if you want to make two cups in a row. So we're going to take our basket and drop it into the brew chamber right here. You can see it sits really easily with the handle out, so you're not going to burn yourself taking out the filter or anything like that, which is great. And then just close it up. One thing I love is how it clacks down. You really know this thing is closed, which is awesome. So after you've closed it up, you have two brew size, two brew types to choose from, should I say. You notice that we've got regular and we've got bold settings. Now, it's advised that if you're going to be brewing uh, a stronger coffee, a flavored coffee, decaf, and a lot of Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts, that you use the bold setting. I'm just going to use the regular setting today because the bold setting does take a little longer to brew. So, all we have to do is just go ahead and choose our brew type. So, I'm going to choose regular and the machine's going to start heating up the water and it will start dripping and brewing very soon here. Um, now, the machine is essentially always ready to go as long as you have some water in it. Uh, so it's not constantly on. You'll notice that the power light didn't come on until I actually chose the brew type that I was going to be doing. But that's just simply because it's waiting for you to put water in it and get ready to brew. While we're brewing, I'm going to go ahead and drop our handy dandy thermometer in here because we're going to go ahead and check the temperature of the scoop as it brews right now. Now, if you like using finer ground coffee or, uh, you know, as I say, specialty coffees, flavored coffees, things like that, probably going to want to make use of the bold setting 
on the scoop because that is going to give about the best brew for those types of coffee. But you can see this is brewing pretty quickly right now on the regular brew setting. So if you don't mind waiting a little bit, go ahead and use that bold setting. But if you need to get on the go, as many of us do, go to that regular. And of course, while this guy's finishing up, I'll remind you guys, please check out aromacup.com where you can read reviews on single serve coffee machines like the Scoop and many other single serve coffee machines, get recipes, talk with other coffee lovers and find great deals on single serve coffee pods, machines, many other accessories. All that at aromacup.com, of course. So we're just about done here. And I'll show you guys our thermometer reading in just a moment here. It looks like we're coming out at about 170 degrees. So that's pretty good. This might not be as hot uh, a coffee brew as some folks like. So it is advised that if you're looking for an even hotter brew, to rinse the mug that you're using in hot water prior to actually brewing your cup. Uh, so that's something that you may want to keep in mind if you like a hotter brew. But as you can see, we're coming out at about 170 degrees right there. A lot of folks are probably used to their coffee somewhere around 190 to 200 degrees. And I know that sounds pretty darn hot and that's because it usually is when you get coffee from a lot coffee shops and many other coffee machines. So that's something to keep in mind, as I say, anytime that, uh, that you're going to be using the scoop. But there you go. There's our cup brewed out of the scoop using the regular uh, brew setting. And cleanup is real easy on this unit, which is something that I love. All you got to do is open up the brew basket, take out your used brew, and then just simply dump it. You can compost it if you want and then just wash it out. Uh, it's advised that you wash the machine out, usually do a little, br a little cleaning cycle with it, maybe once a month. If you have a lot of hard water where you live or something like that, do it about once a week. Cleaning is real easy to do, and uh, that is pretty much the scoop in general. Uh, that's the scoop, should I say, on the scoop. Really like this machine, as I say, kind of a cool bridge between old school drip style coffee and uh, the new school that's uh, starting to gain a lot of headway here with single serve coffee. So there you go, The Scoop on The Scoop by Hamilton Beach. All right guys, I hope you found that useful. Thank you as always for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. Again, please check us out at aromacup.com. Find a lot of great information on single serve coffee. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. I'm Brian with aromacup.com and take care.